On the unit circle, P begins at the point 1, 0 and at an angle of 0 degrees and travels around the unit circle counterclockwise, creating uh, one circuit in 2 pi radians or 360 degrees. I want to define two functions, the sine function and the cosine function, and show how each of them are related to the point traveling around the unit circle. So we're going to start with sine. Notice that at 0 degrees, the sine value is 0, which is the y-coordinate of this point P, and that is the point 0, 0 on the graph here. As we move P, the y-coordinate increases. That's this blue line that's being shown. So at this particular angle, this is the y value. Notice that the y value continues to increase and the, the corresponding point on the sine graph continues to increase all the way up to 90 where we have a y value of 1. So at 90 degrees or pi over 2 the sine value is 1 and then the graph will start to go back down again because the sine value or the y coordinate decreases in quadrant 2 until we get back down to 0 again at 180 or pi. Now the sine value in quadrants 3 and 4 is going to be negative. So we see a negative y value, a negative sine value with a minimum value at negative 1 at 3 pi over 2 or 270 degrees and then all the way back up to 0. This completes one time around the circle and one cycle of the sine graph. Notice that the highest that the sine graph goes is 1 and the lowest is negative 1. And if you think about the definition of sine as opposite over hypotenuse, the hypotenuse has to be the largest side, so opposite over hypotenuse is never going to be bigger than 1. Notice how the sections of this graph correspond to the quadrants from 0 to 90 or pi over 2 is quadrant 1 and sine is positive and increasing. Then in quadrant 2 sine is still positive but decreasing. Then we go to quadrants 3 and 4 where sine is negative. Now how is cosine related to the unit circle? If sine represents the vertical distance or the y value or that opposite side, cosine must represent the adjacent side. So let me start with cosine here. Cosine represents the, y, or the x value or 1 here. So notice when we start the graph it's going to start at 1. So we're up here at 1 at 0 degrees and now cos the cosine value is decreasing because the adjacent side gets smaller as point P climbs to the top of the circle. When P is at the very top of the circle there is no adjacent side at 0 so cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Now the adjacent side is increasing but in a, the negative direction all the way to negative 1 at 180 or pi. Cosine continues to be negative but the adjacent side is decreasing reaching um, 0 at 270 or 3 pi over 2 and now the adjacent side is positive again as we approach 2 pi or 360 degrees. So notice here we see a very similar curve to what we saw for sine only now we're, instead of starting at 0 and going up, we're starting at 1 and going down. As a matter of fact, the curves are identical except for their starting points. If we were to shift the sine graph over, um, let me show sine at the same time, if we were to shift the sine graph over 90 degrees to the left, it would be the same as the, uh, the cosine graph. So, uh, one thing I used as a little reminder to help us remember which one's which, I say sine is a snake that lives in a hole in the ground. It comes out of its hole, it slithers around. So sine is a snake coming out of its hole in the ground and slithering around. Cosine is a cup that starts up. Now probably it looks more like a bowl, but it doesn't rhyme as nicely that way, so I say cosine is a cup that starts up. So one cycle of a cosine graph starts up and ends up high. A cycle of this of this uh, sine graph starts right here on the x-axis, goes up, goes below the x-axis, and then comes back to the x-axis. So those are how sine and cosine are related to the unit circle. The sine graph 
shows the vertical coordinate of the point or the y coordinate of the point at a, any given angle on the unit circle. The cosine graph shows the horizontal direction or the x coordinate of the point at any given angle on the unit circle.